Hey there A10M friends. Earlier I showed you how to take the A10M and just use the controls to make a design come out with a cool gradient using the mixed extruder. So in order to make that happen, you need to be able to scale your object down in Kira. So let's go to the Kira setup movie. Alright friends, so I am setting up the A10 and the A10M and I just went to double check. I've been using 220 for the size of my bed and you can see that it is 235. So I'm going to change that in both setups. So here we are in Cura 3.6 and to set up a new printer you just hit settings, printer, and we want to add a printer. I'm going to use the custom FFF option and I'm going to just put A10M because I've had a bit of success with it. When you click add printer, we need to put in those measurements I talked about a moment ago. There is the 235 for the X. 235 for the Y and 260 is what I'm going to use for the height because I've seen that in a couple locations. Make sure you click back in the Y so that it actually locks in and changes. Make sure you have your heated bed checked and then we need to switch to two extruders because our awesome A10M has two extruders. Once you click that button, you can switch over to extruder 1 and you need to change it to 1.75 for the filament. And once again, click another location to lock it in and then go to extruder 2 and also change it to 1.75. With those settings in place, double check, I leave these alone. You can hit finish and that printer has been added. You will most likely end up on this screen with your recommended settings and your two extruders available. I like to switch to the custom screen and I like to also use the extra fast 0.3 millimeters when I'm learning about my printer. Your settings can all be adjusted. Uh, this little arrow pops them out so you can see them. I do not mess with quality shell. I do mess with infill. Quite often I take this down to 10 or 5% depending on how quick I want the print to be. You can see this is also where you change your extruders if you wanted your infill to be different. I don't waste time with that. Uh, I do go into the materials though and I change my temperatures. I'm going to actually work with 200. I have been also using a build plate temperature of 60 and then I have stayed with the speed of 60 millimeters per second as well. When we move down to travel and cooling, I do sometimes on smaller parts adjust the minimum layer time to 10 seconds. If you can't see that, simply click on your little search item and when you type min, It'll help you find the minimum layer time and then you can enable it. You can use this for any piece of the tools that you need to find. Like later you might want the prime towers. That is another cool thing that you can add using that search tool so that it appears. I am not using any supports for this project so I can just leave that one hidden. I also like to switch to skirt. And when I use skirt I like to do four or five lines. And I like to do them 10 millimeters apart. By having it 10 millimeters away, I can level my bed as it starts so that way I'm more guaranteed to have a perfect print. Of course, there are many other things that you can adjust, but I like to start here because less is more sometimes so that you can begin with a little bit of success. Lastly, under the Configure Cure button for preferences, I like to make sure it slices automatically and then I don't want it to automatically drop models to the build point. This lets me adjust two models so that they can interact with each other and eventually we can print with two colors. I'm going to also quickly change my currency to a dollar sign and see if that actually works. Alrighty friends, so there you have it. That is a basic Cura setup for the A10M. So this is what I use to scale down the dog that comes with the A10M. And then I was able to print it faster for my students. And you can also pick the items you want to print and just use the controller to create mixed gradient items in no time. Thanks for watching, friends. If you found this movie useful, please hammer that like button. If you got a question or a comment or a suggestion, add it down below. Click that notification bell to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HO Mod Tech. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Mash that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Thank you.